Hi guys, so it's very early in the morning, in January, why am I up? Well I've already got myself a cup of tea, well apparently we're going to have a car boot sale this morning, so first one of the year, so I have to have to go, why? I don't know, I'm absolutely crazy, but I'm not the only one, so you know, it's not too bad. Let's go. I'm just on my way now to the car boot sale. It's very dark, very, very dark. Um, nearly seven o'clock. Um, check Facebook. They're saying that the, the car boot's on. So, um, yeah, I can't believe it's on because I know that there are due to be some really bad weather coming up this afternoon. So, um, they've just managed to sneak it in this morning. Fingers crossed there'll be plenty of sellers there, hopefully. Um, let's see what games we can find today. I always have very sort of hit and miss with, with uh, game hunts at um, car boot sales, but it's that just, you never know, do you? You never know. So let's see what we can find today. So I'm very tired, but we did get here in one piece. Um, I've just driven past the car boot and it doesn't look like there's many sellers there, I have to say. Um, I'm not surprised in a way. I think a lot of people probably anticipated it was going to be really bad weather this weekend, so I probably stayed away. Um, but who knows? We might still find some stuff for the collection, so let's go have a look. And there is the Tough Sheet Community Stadium, as it's known these days. Most of us still call it the Reebok Stadium. Home of Bolton Wanderers, of course. Home to where today's car boot sale is. And we are back in the games room, the nice, warm and cosy games room, uh, which is nice to get back to after what was a very dark, a very damp, a very, no, no actually it wasn't that cold, but um, cold enough uh, car boot sale this morning. So welcome back um, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Pixel Paul, for those of you who are new to the channel, if you're not already subscribing, if you can hit that subscribe button, that would be really appreciated. And um, yeah, first car boot sale of 2024, and it was a little bit disappointing. Uh, there wasn't many sellers there. Uh, there was um, probably four sort of rows of cars. Wasn't really expecting there to be the usual massive uh, car boot. As um, if you've seen some of my previous videos, I did a couple of car boot type videos last year, and you'll have seen just how big that car boot sale can be. Um, but today, I wouldn't even say it was half of what you would normally get, probably uh, a quarter. Um, maybe, I would maybe say about 40 sellers, if that. Um, so yeah, slim pickings, not many sellers. There weren't many buyers either, to be fair. Um, but yeah, there wasn't a huge amount to sort of pick from. But I have managed to pick up a couple of things. I was not leaving there empty-handed. Um, you know, got up that early got up and it was you know cold and wet and damp and first one of the year so I wasn't leaving empty handed so I did pick up a couple of bits and um, didn't spend a huge amount of money at all um, and even got a freebie so um, yeah there was only one sort of dedicated game seller there there was the odd game here and there dotted about the usual fodder Xbox 316 PlayStation 2 mainly um, nothing else really um, but there was the one guy I, I bought from him before um, really nice guy actually, has a really decent stall, uh, really fair prices as well, so um, yeah, so I picked up a couple of bits, I'll show you what I got, nothing spectacular as, as usual from, from car boots, but uh, managed to get up, get Star Trek Shattered Universe on the original Xbox, 
probably needs a new box but other than that the disc and the manual are in really good condition nice and complete but yeah i need to get a, a new box new green box as well um but yeah two pound i paid for that it does sell for two pound in cex at the moment so you know uh, it's not a bad price really never played this one uh, quite interested to give it a go don't have many star trek games and there aren't many star trek games in general but yeah i've never played this one I'm assuming some sort of uh tactical space fight kind of type game um not my usual sort of thing but like i say i was not leaving empty-handed i didn't want to not uh, walk away with any games so yeah interesting one to get now this one's a bit of a, an oddity um it's not super old or anything like that but again from the same guy uh, spotted it on top of the games looked in really nice condition and i thought i've got to have that as long as the price is right and it is this super nintendo 2019 calendar um i've never seen this before i don't know where it's come from or you know who produced it or who sold it he said he used to have it in his uh, games room um but took it down because he ran out of room but some really nice um sort of prints or pictures for each year it looks really cool um i'm not 100 sure what i'm going to do with it at the moment but um yeah he said two pound for that so i took it and um, like i say really nice condition it's been well looked after but yeah some really nice uh sort of artwork and uh box art kind of uh, pictures in there that's nice um so yeah like i say i'm not quite sure where i'm gonna what i'm gonna do with it where i'm gonna put it might frame uh frame the front of it maybe and, and st stick it up somewhere in the games room but uh yeah for two quid but i'll have that nice and collectible piece there and um so that was it that was that's all that i was going to buy but he did throw me in a little freebie and he gave me this uh sega sonic all-stars mini basketball now i think this is a basketball or a mini basketball from one of those um arcades uh you know like the basketball hoop shooting arcade games and i think they usually have like the smaller ones for kids um with the smaller basketballs and i think that's one of them um i could be wrong it might have been some sort of freebie with the game or something like that i don't know but i think it was from an arcade machine so um yeah he just threw that in he said yeah you can have that for your games room um no charge he gave it me for free and um, yeah nice little collectible i guess um it's uh yeah it's nice and uh, pumped up it still works Woo! there we go um so yeah that's what i got from the car boot sale today uh, like i say slim pickings so yeah it was slim pickings uh, from the car boot sale but obviously this is a gaming grabs video so i do have a couple of extra games that i picked up this week uh, one of them and these first two actually i've not opened yet so these were from music magpie ordered them online um it looks like i wasn't really sort of planning to do any sort of dedicated uh, game hunting this week particularly um it's january not got a massive budget and i wanted to put money aside for the car boot just in case as well um but obviously i've not spent too much of that so i'll probably carry forward to next week and see possibly if i can get to the car boot next weekend and, and see if there's some more sellers there so um but yeah I, I have picked up a couple of extra bits um and like i say this one's from music magpie who i've bought from before not opened it yet so let's uh let's rip it open it should be in pretty decent condition and it's two uh nintendo 3ds games and um, so again my 3ds collection is starting to grow a little bit the first one is asphalt 3d nice little racing game i paid i think it was about four pounds i think that one um, which is about the going rate on CEX um, there's just not that many copies of this around uh, certainly not near me and I didn't want to buy it off them online because for a game at that price I mean you then add on top of on top their uh, postage fees as well that, you know it increases the price of the game overall so um, Music Magpie do free postage so you know it sort of balances itself out but yeah quite interested to give this a go it was one of the games that was on my um to, to get list for the 3ds as always really good condition almost brand new condition that it's really good like i say music magpie are good for condition of games so um yeah nice little pick up that one and the second one in here 
is, again, yep, nice condition, another racing game, Ridge Racer 3D. And I paid, again, I think it was £4, I think, for that one. £4, it was £4 something. That might be £4.89, I think, for that one. Um, I think it goes for a fiver on uh, CEX at the moment, so slightly under CEX uh, value. And um, yeah, free postage with it as well. Let's have a look inside. All the manual, all the bump with it as well. Um, and there's the game pack. So, yeah, really good condition. Really happy with that. Uh, do love the Ridge Racer games. Love uh, arcade races um, and I have got most of the Ridge Racer games now there's only a few like Ridge Racer DS I don't think I've got but um, yeah another one added to the collection really happy with that so yeah good stuff and um, yeah so on uh, midweek this week um, we went back to the Trafford Centre you'll know from my other Gaming Grabs videos that game at the Trafford Centre I tend to have a little bit of luck with because I don't know whether it's because it's off the high street and their stock is usually not too bad. They usually have quite a lot in there and they, they tend to have their own kind of thing where they'll put it bargain bins out. And um, the last time I went in, they had a bargain bin um, and it wasn't 50% off this time. It was just like a flat rate of £4.98. The last time I went in, they had loads of Xbox One games and they had loads of PlayStation 4 games and they did pick a few up. And then if you've not seen uh, my, I think it was the last Gaming Grabs video, um, you can check that out and see what I bought. Um, but this time I went in, um, I have took a little bit of footage, so I'll show you what was in there. <laughs> So yeah, not a great deal of stuff uh, this time, and it was mainly Xbox One games as well. Um, huge amounts of the same sort of games, so there was loads of Fallout 4, loads of Like a Dragon, um, quite a few copies of King of Fighters on the Xbox Series X as well, which sadly I haven't got, so otherwise I might have picked a copy of that one up. Um, there was still a few copies of that Yakuza, and it was Yakuza 6 on PlayStation 4, but uh, I think you'll have seen it in the footage too, a absolutely terrible condition, so again, didn't pick up uh, a copy of that. Um, but I did grab uh, two games, one was in that box, one wasn't. So the one I did pick up from the uh, the bargain bin was The Sojourn, Sojourn. Um, looks quite interesting. Um, did have a quick look online to sort of see what price you'd get it was going for on CEX and it was about five pounds so um, got, it has interesting reviews as well it, it sounds quite good so um, yeah I'll give that a quick go I think um, but yeah it just looks interesting looks uh, very colourful graphics wise but yeah I don't know a huge amount about it it's a bit of a punt that one but um, I don't mind taking a bit of a punt now and then and then this one so this wasn't in the uh, the bargain bin. These were on. This was on the shelf. Now, yeah, we all know the the sort of news that came out this week about game, and the fact that they are from. Uh, yeah, I think it's a week or two off, or it might even be this week. I can't remember. But they are now stopping uh, taking in trade ins. So they are effectively stopping anybody bringing in second hand games to trade in or you know to cash in on. Um, it's it's quite a big thing really for for gamers i suppose and for game and game buying in this country um 
obviously most people these days will take games if they want to trade games in they'll take them to CEX but there are still people who take them to game um, but obviously game over the last few years has been quite visibly sort of struggling all the stores on the high street are moving into sports direct um, for me it doesn't really work um, it, it just doesn't feel the same and the stock now is probably what 30% games and 70% uh, uh, board games and toys and you know it, it, it's not it's not a game shop really anymore um, so they're obviously now wanting to get rid of their pre-owned stock they don't want to bring any more stock in pre-owned they're obviously not wanting to give money out if you like so there's something afoot and when I went to game the other night in the Trafford Centre something in there also sort of made me start to think something's afoot with game so the vast majority well I'll show you which one I picked up so it was the chant on the PlayStation 5 and it was eight pounds um, I've seen this quite often on Instagram and people say it's not a bad game so PlayStation 5 game for eight pounds and it came in this uh, uh, sort of special limited edition uh, cardboard case as well and there is a uh, little art book that came with it as well um, but yeah the chant survival horror third person survival horror game a bit of an indie game but looks interesting looks all right a uh, bit of a short play time as well i think on this so um for eight pound i thought that's not a bad little pickup we'll grab that um but yeah like i was oh, going back to my sort of first point a huge amount of the, uh, the stock that was in that game don't know if this is across the board at the game at the moment but certainly in there i would say nearly again sort of 70 percent of everything that was in game had these stickers on now only so obviously their sale has now sort of finished um but the the, you know, the vast majority of the stock in there and this is across the games across the board games across the toys it's all the other stuff that they sell had these now only stickers on with a slightly reduced price um so again it's making me think something is a foot with game to to reduce all the prices like this something something weird's going on wherever they've had a really bad christmas period and are just looking to try and recoup some money i don't know but when you tie that in with the fact that they're not no, no longer taking the pre-owned stuff as well something's something's a foot so i don't know wherever they are you know they've gone from just staying afloat to now starting to struggle which this sort of suggests maybe um, it's going to be an interesting month or two ahead i think for games so for us collectors and for bargain hunters i think it could be in the short term you know quite good because i would keep an eye on some of the game shops and just you know see what some of the prices are because i mean again like i say i think that for eight pounds special edition i think that's not a bad pickup at all that and they had um like you saw in the footage you know quite a few other games as well reduced um, I, I was sort of thinking about that uh, Tales of Symphonia on the Xbox One as well. That was being reduced down to £11. It was a really nice sort of collector's box, but I, I did pass on that. Um, but yeah, I'm just wondering if over the next few few weeks or two, maybe a month or two, we might see some different movement and different prices in game. So keep your eyes out. Let me know if you spot any bargains as well. If you see any sort of uh, strange things happening with game, if you're even shopping game, I know a lot of people just stay clear of game altogether these days. So, um, but if you do, just uh, yeah, let me know if you see any sort of other bargains in, in game. So those were the game pickups for this week. Now I am going to pause recording for a little bit because I've just been told that we've got a window of opportunity to go out uh, into town. So I may have a quick sneaky look in at CEX and just see if there's anything else there. So if there is. Um, I may take a little bit of footage as usual and I'll uh, rejoin you shortly after. Let's see if I get anything else.
scoot around and see what was in there. But like I say, not a huge amount, but I did, as always, pick up one or two bits. Um, so I'll show you what I grabbed. Um, Rayman 3D on the 3DS, £5. Nice little pickup. Again, this was on my list of 3DS games to get. I do like Rayman. Um, probably prefer the 2D Rayman games, if I'm being honest. But um, yeah, I'll give this one a go. do like Rayman. £5. And... Um, if you saw my last video, which was the 10 for a tenner on the Nintendo Wii, you'll know that I was kind of um, bigging up the Wii as one of the best machines for um, sort of uh, Zappa games. So I've actually managed to grab another Zappa game or a light gun game, probably the granddaddy of light gun games. No, actually, it, I mean, Duck Hunt is probably the granddaddy of light gun games, but this is certainly one of the earliest light gun games I remember seeing in arcades. And um, yeah, there was a Wii version and I picked it up and it is Mad Dog McCree's. Mad Dog McCree. And this is the Gun Slinger Pack. So there's uh, actually three three games on this. Um, but yeah, I, I think there was a, I remember Mad Dog and Creed 2, but I don't remember a third one, so I'm not sure what the third game is. Um, but yeah, another light gun game for the Wii. Can't wait to give that a go. Uh, that was £6. Don't see that one around all that often, so when it was in there, I was quite surprised to see it, so I had to pick it up. Mad Dog and Creed. And the last one, this is, is, this is something that they've had in that CEX for a while, and I think they must have bumped the price down a little bit because... If it had been this price before, when I've seen it in there, I think I would have picked it up before. So um, I think they may have reduced this recently. And it is a, is it a special edition, limited edition, not sure. Limited edition, they're saying. And it is PlayStation 3 Prince of Persia. Lovely special edition little box that it's come with. There you go, six pound. Um, so this is the um, 2008 Prince of Persia, which was kind of like a soft reboot for the 3D series. You'll recognise it if I show you that. So that's the actual game itself. Um, I really enjoyed this Prince of Persia game. Um, I do like the 3D games, Prince of Persia. Um, and this, like I say, was a bit of a soft reboot for the series. Cell shaded graphics, so it looked a little bit different as well. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed this game. And this is a nice little pack, actually. So you get, if you can get it out, uh, bonus disc, bonus content disc. Quite nice. Uh, there's a little card there for bonus um, skins and that sort of thing. I would imagine that's probably being used. And uh, stories and secrets booklet as well. So not a bad little pack that for nice box as well. You can see that artwork there. Um, but really good condition as well. But yeah, £6 for that. Quite happy with that. And like I say, I think that must have come down because I think... If it had been that price before, I definitely think I would have picked that up. Um, so yeah, a couple of extra bonus pickups from CEX there. And that's the gaming grabs for this week. So, as always, thank you for watching. Thank you for pressing play. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, if you can drop a subscription, that would be much appreciated. If you've liked the video, if you can give it a thumbs up. It just makes me feel better if you do. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. And I will catch you all on the next video sometime soon. Bye, everyone.